One of Spokane's most notorious criminals will spend his Thanksgiving holiday in what has become his second home, the Spokane County Jail. Sheriff's deputies arrested Eddie Ray Hall last night after he spent a week on the run. KXLY 4's Eric Loney live at the Spokane County Jail where Eddie Ray Hall is getting comfortable in his cell yet again. Eric. Yeah, Eddie Ray Hall is very familiar with the Spokane County Jail. He's been arrested more than 80 times in the past 25 years. And authorities are hoping last night's arrest will finally push this career criminal into retirement. Uh, Eddie Ray Hall, it's case number 0810379-1. Mr. Hall is present today. Eddie Ray Hall could be considered a star in the world of courtroom video. In the past 25 years, he's appeared on tape over and over and over again. In fact, the sheriff's office considers Hall one of the top 10 criminals in the county, considering his 25-year criminal history that includes 17 different drug and burglary convictions. He was arrested again last night. The Fugitive Task Force spent a week hunting for him after he jumped the fence and escaped from a jail in Yakima last Wednesday. But Hall has escaped from deputies before. In 1994, he slipped out of a Spokane County courtroom by telling the bailiff he needed to use the bathroom. Nice. He's right at the top, has to be. Uh... Top of the county's repeat offender list, according to the Department of Corrections, Mike Curran. Curran says Hall just refuses to follow the rules. He doesn't want to report. Uh, he always has excuses. Um, he told his uh, CCO once that uh, he'd fallen off a roof and he loses his clothes, he can't get the bus. Uh, he's just uh, a real management issue. Law enforcement officials estimate Hall has cost taxpayers at least $1 million in officer man hours and incarceration costs. They hope yesterday's arrest for escape and drug dealing will be enough to hold him behind bars for what could amount to the rest of his life. So the big question is, after all his convictions, 17, why isn't Eddie Ray Hall still in jail? Or the answer we got today is that all his convictions so far have been nonviolent with shorter prison terms. Now, the U.S. attorney for Eastern Washington, Jim McDevitt, was in Hall's hearing today, and we asked him about it, and he said Eddie Ray Hall could face some federal charges. He said he wasn't sure, but he said federal charges do carry longer prison sentences than, uh, than state charges. In Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.